it's creating videos that are 11 minutes and 48 seconds long. That seems to be the limit on what it can do per, per, per video. I thought it was 15 minutes, but it looks like it's just doing 11 minutes and 48 seconds of video. So uh, I'll just, yeah, that's, that's a nice little size for a VR180 video. We'll see if we, we can upload these to YouTube because YouTube's been giving me problems in the past. When I upload VR180 videos, it throws them into the it throws them into the the VR360 area, not the VR180 for some reason, and they want you to send it through their converter. And I can I can get their converter and convert the VR180s. Um, it's it's available on the web. Anyhow, um, so there is there's. Uh, if you really want to see how many there are, the playlist on my website, and I'll, I'll size it down. You see, there's a lot of text at the bottom that goes into detail, and you can see my Rock Me Amadeus uh, logo. And this is like the, the most you, content you can stick on the screen at once. The way I have it set up, you can actually. I have it programmed that I can do it in for any amount. This is nine six, so you can pop up in here and you can throw in any numbers. They could just say 12, 12, 6, and it should throw it up there. So you can you can dial in how many icons you want on the screen. It isn't set in stone. Those links are uh, I I changed it so that you can set that amount. So you can put up there twelve. What looks like it's going to work is about 12.4, 12, 12.5. 12, so I do 12.5. Maybe I can get rid of my top bar up there, and that gets all into the screen. If I hit F11, it's a full screen. Maybe I can pop in another bunch of icons in there. So I'll jump it up to 12.6, and then I'll hit F11. And... So I'm able to stuff in how many is this? Well, it's 12 by 6. So that's about 60, 70, yes, 72. You see, two, 12 times 6 is 60 plus, um, plus 12. So it's 72. 72 video uh, playlists. These are playlists, not videos. These are playlists. And um, then we go... Another and some of these channels are just one video, so it isn't like it's. And you can see there's some that are missing here, the ones that are in gray, like around here. This one is, um, and some of these are just not like really very good playlists. Um, there are ones that I just created really quickly because I wanted to. I was working with Alt Space VR and I was trying to stuff it full of, uh, full of. Um, Content because I was creating, I was creating a, a playlist for like every. Ooh, we got some. I was creating a playlist for like every musician. So I, I mean, I was creating a world for every musician, and then I was stuffing them onto a, a little television tube inside Alt Space VR, so people could watch. Um, they could watch um, their favorite musician, whatever it was. Most people like the Queen world, so they'd go over there to listen to. Um, I had it set up to watch, um, to show them, uh, show them 24 seven, um, Bohemian Rhapsody because it's like all anybody ever wants to hear of Queen. This is, um, an interview with Todd, Ro oh, with, um, and I will Todd Rosenthal. Up, uh, we have a number of default. The guy that created Blender. Everybody who is in computers. I know this guy, he knows me. For example, the pen on tablet. It's great. Um, He's also uh, very tall. You don't have a left he, or right mouse. You only have a click. He, and um, a hold click. He he he's got this speech impediment, and um, but he's a very respect, respectable guy. Though I, I I I actually know him more than than most people. Um, well, not more than most people know him, but uh, um, I know him well enough to. That, I mean, he knows me so. Uh, that should say enough, but um, there was a time in the past when I was a, this is the way I am with any technology, and if anybody wants to make me a friend, just keep in mind that I have, have a very abusive side to myself, 
and I can be I can be good, but sometimes I, if you I can get really downright bad whenever I think that something is really not going the way I think it should. And he's seen that side of me, and I just never have really in the past I I had issues, and these days I I see him as succeeding. Mm-hmm. Uh, we should be able to have within one click of a start to start drummer to make drummer working for that. And that is similar to how you want to use drummer only with left click. Because people only want to use left click and now right click, and it's not for selecting. Uh, you should have that configuration work from start very well. So he's inter- being interviewed by. It uh, so uh, doesn't mean uh, that the concept by one of his best users. users. Yeah. Um, he was running a magazine it's called good. Blender yeah. Guru. And it's, it's, actually, it's actually a site that teaches people how to use Blender. Yeah. Yeah. If you only use one, I can't use it only one. I have to switch mouse to left. Yeah, but it's the convention. Yeah. That's what everybody does. Yeah, you know. That's right. Yeah. And especially for new users, that mouse select is uh, very more convenient. Yeah. yeah. And I think the main, the main problem is not so much the default, the main problem is that. Uh, people don't know how to find the default, and the, find that my, uh... the left click is still not as good as the right click, because not everything works optimal if you configure it, and that's what we have to solve. Yeah, I think it could be it could be so more easy than it sounds. Bag, like I remember Sebastian made a video explaining why the right click was better, and the area was totally superior. <laughs> <laughs> But everything that he mentioned could be solved just by holding down control, you know? Like, it doesn't have to be right or left. It's like, make it left. If you want to select that other thing, it's, it's control left. I don't know, I feel like it's not. It's uh, not. And for those left tablets nowadays, and tablets, and uh, mm. for those things, yeah. you have to look up well, where does it go to, or how long are we... This is what's left of the Blender manual that uh, tugs at me. Yeah, sometimes, See. yeah. It's Blender? This is the uh, Blender 1.5 oh, manual. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Then I, think the I don't know if that would be worth something these days, days, but mm-hmm. that's what we have to make work. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, of course, we lost. Yeah. So, I'm allowed to contribute to the interface. Of course. Right? Oh, I thought I was expelled mm-hmm. from the discussion. Uh, like mock up, conversation, design, like this, yeah. uh, see what other people are doing. Yeah. Of course. There's a lot of politics in interface, isn't it? Nah. <laughs> nah. It's, it's uh, okay. What is part of it? I mean, the politics part is uh, that you should collaborate and look at this, what, what other people are doing and not trying to push one thing at the truth. If you start having discussions on that level, like people say, yeah, but everybody or the market standard is, and that's why we, that's, that's always confusing discussion, because you will never agree on those things. So what you can better look at is, okay, so how can we create the optimal workflow for blender users? How does it work? What are the things to make sure that the experience is optimal, that you can work fast, and that you have a good ergonomic workflow? That's, that's, those kind of discussions are more useful. If you agree on that level, then you can say, okay, we have a nice design, but it is not standard. Uh, so that means that people have to learn it. And not everybody likes to do that. Some people say, I don't want to learn anything new. I want to copy what I know from Maya or Max or another program. And I want Blender to uh, reward that behavior. Right? But I uh, do alt click for f- viewport rotate in Maya, and that has grown on to me, and I want to keep using that. Mm-hmm. And of course, we should that that's what 2.8 is meant to do to make sure that those kind of configurations are advanced and stable and keep working. Yeah. And then the whole discussion about the default is not so interesting anymore. Yeah. Because it's more like, okay, what kind, what, which of the defaults are you using? Yeah, I'm using the cookie default. Oh, but I use the guru default. Way, way, way more fun. Maybe it goes that way. Hmm. But, but with one, I okay, know one default is good. Of course, we should have a minimum, uh, the minimum configuration. That's what I think. What I like about Maya, for example, if you install it, you did it once, to the educational version. 
And the default key map in Maya is minimal. It hardly has anything configured, especially the shortcuts. Everything works based on using menus. If you see Maya tutorials, it's often that you see people click, blah, 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 click, and then have a tool, do something. All of click, uh, uh, Alias Wavefront's programs, uh, uh, Alias slow, programs, but were centered around the tutorials. Because you first have to learn how to nav navigate in the software. So where are all the options? Where, where is this? Where is the editing? Where are the vertices and properties? Where are the... Uh, and if you reveal yeah, that the shortcuts or the little icons... It's stuff, complex and you forget can learn. Because you cannot remember a thousand icons. Yeah. You can only remember the few. Yeah. So it doesn't work icons. But those lists of menus, they are quite well to navigate. If you limit the number of the menus, if you put it, the, the stuff that's just needed for the tutorial the in the interface, yeah, then it'll, be, that make it, it wants, it'll permit them to learn it. Edit, uh, view, right? They have a couple of standard concepts. They know, okay, I want to set the view to camera, view, or camera, ah, right? That's the, the navigation thing that they, uh, they present. I think that's what we will try for the uh, new mate default. He was inspired by uh, Wavefront, like, actually. Like, uh, maybe Wavefront, he got a copy of Wavefront TV for a couple of weeks, and right. that's what inspired he's him, he's part of he's his right. vision for what the to thing do that I, I most He was inspired like, by Wavefront. He's like... Um, uh, he's inspired the, by the Maya, UI he's inspired is by Lightweight. A lot of right? Blender like, is just does inspiration from all the other 